Miles McPherson and the nearly 300 volunteers from Miles Ahead who traveled from San Diego have a special love for Jamaica. For months, they raised funds, they built their teams, they gathered materials, they prayed. The long travel time faded once they saw the beautiful island of Jamaica and its beautiful people. Six teams of people landed in Montego Bay last weekend to work throughout the community. There were construction crews, a deaf team, a sports outreach group led by a former NBA pro. Medical personnel put together several free clinics. A team went to school assemblies to encourage them. And a crew of people spread the gospel on the streets. He's up there, man, watching you right now. And it's not like it's telling you that God loves you, man. On Sunday, miles ahead volunteers scattered across Montego Bay to attend area churches. Americans worshipped with Jamaicans, all praising the same God. On Monday, the teams got up early and hit the road. Farm Primary and Junior High School had no way to prevent intruders onto its 900-student campus in Farm Heights. Thieves were stealing lunch money from young kids, girls had been assaulted, and a gang attacked a teen boy right in the classroom. Miles Ahead stepped up and arranged for a 400-foot-long, 10-foot-high security wall around the perimeter. It will soon be finished. In addition to the wall, Miles Ahead volunteers decided to renovate farm schools, girls, and boys' lavatories. David Bilodeau is the project manager for the remodel. We are replacing all toys, putting all new toys in, fixing the water supply so they are functional. When his crew of volunteer plumbers and electricians and painters and workers arrived, they found toilets that didn't work and had no water. The stalls had no doors. There were no lights and the walls were covered with graffiti. This week, they changed all of that. Principal Samuel Reed used to look at the rock-filled schoolyard and think, that doesn't look like a place of education, so we planted flowers. Things are growing at farm school. Two dozen miles ahead volunteers hit the streets day and night, handing out 50,000 flyers for the Jamaica Crusade and sharing the good news of Jesus Christ with everyone they met. Miles Ahead put together four medical clinics, offering the residents of Montego Bay $5 million worth of free care. One of the clinics was at St. John's Methodist Church, near downtown Montego Bay. The clinics were unique, according to Miles Ahead Medical Director Sean Burgess. When a patient comes in, they'll be processed through our triage. They'll go into a waiting area where they'll be designated for six different specialties. They'll either go to dental, pediatrics, women's health, internal medicine, or the pathology lab, ortho, and uh, optometry. At that point, if the patient needs to be seen for any of these other areas, they'll go back into the system and, and still be seen. The final stage is the pharmacy that we have, and then we send them over to post-op treatment, which consists of care counseling. A team of deaf and sign language interpreters went to schools for deaf kids and also conducted a workshop for their teachers on how to teach deaf children. They also visited Top Hill, a town where 200 deaf families live. Former professional basketball player Zach Jones led a team of players into schools. They held clinics in soccer, volleyball, basketball, netball, hula, and strength building. On Thursday evening, they held an all-star netball game open to the public. They laughed and played together and tried to inspire kids to be healthy and to dream big dreams. Rock for Jesus! At Flankers Primary and Junior High School, 50 miles ahead volunteers spent several days giving the school a facelift and lifting the spirits of its 746 primary and junior high school students. The principal, Hugh Miller, said the event was like Christmas in April. A dozen artistically inclined volunteers worked to restore five faded murals on the school's exterior walls. The students' favorite mural was of Jamaica's seven national heroes and a map of the country, which Mr. Miller said helped build national pride in the children. Some of the children asked for a new painting, SpongeBob SquarePants. The school is a home away from home for the children, said Mr. Miller, and a safe place where they can grow into the people God created them to be. You catch it? You catch it? Come on, give me this, come on. Give Jesus Christ.
Christ our wave offering tonight. Come on. Listen to me. Give up your life. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, ladies, scream. Watch ya. Give up. Watch ya. What me say? You ever feel like you can't make it through the day? You ever want to talk to God and you can't pray? You all kneel down and can't find a word to say. And you will wonder now yourself how oh, God there. Remember Father God said he's not going to leave us. Now make your mind go astray, keep your focus. God's with the on this earth for your purpose. Don't need to be nervous. Call upon him, Jesus. You put my life back together when my heart was broken in two. Jesus. Spend this life up and find myself without you, Jesus. And if it was for your mercy, let's welcome Brother Pastor Miles McPherson. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Who's the man? Jesus. Every single one of you tonight, your eternity is in your hand. And what you do tonight, the decision you make tonight, is going to determine where you spend eternity because all of you will die and go someplace for eternity. If you prayed that prayer, slip your hand up real high and we can see you and pray for you. God bless 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 you. I'm going to start to go to church and save God. I know I was saving him, praising him before. We're going to praise him more. Hope. How do you feel? Feels excited. He's thrilled about it. We're all making a new life for Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ saved us. I come to the realization that, you know what, Jesus Christ is really Lord and Savior, not only of our life, but of the world today. With more than 75,000 people in attendance, local church and Miles Ahead volunteers were overwhelmed by the number of decisions and rededicated lives to Christ that came forward. 3,515 decision cards, individually completed to signal one's faith in Jesus Christ, were registered, and 6,000 copies of 21 Jumpstart devotional books authored by Miles McPherson were quickly exhausted. Several thousand more were encouraged to visit the online website milesahead.tv for more information.